everyone, welcome back to my channel, A Gut Feeling. If you've never been here before, my name is Kat, and this is my channel all about spreading awareness about gastroparesis, a stomach disorder that I live with. And if you have gastroparesis or a chronic illness in general, or you know someone that ha has a chronic illness, you may have heard the term spoonie or spoon theory. Well, spoon theory is an is a way that people with chronic illnesses explain energy levels. You start each day with a certain amount of spoons and each spoon represents the energy it takes to do that task or to complete something a part of your daily routine. And then once you're out of spoons you're out of energy. I even have a handy dandy chart to help explain what some things that might take up your spoons. So let's say you start out with 15 spoons a day. Each task takes up a different amount of spoons. And this is very subjective, but I really like this chart because I feel like it's very accurate pertaining to me. Um, so for example, getting out of bed, calling your parents or getting dressed could take up one spoon. Taking a shower, managing your meds or making dinner could take up two spoons. I know though when I am really low on nutrition and my energy is completely depleted, Sometimes, you know, starting out with 15 spoons, a shower can take maybe three or four spoons. It can be very tiring. Also suggests visiting your doctor, walking your dog, socializing could take up three spoons, maybe even more depending if you're also an introvert. Grocery shopping, taking your kids to school, and going to work, they suggest could be four spoons, which is a really high amount of spoons to be using for just one task. But, you know, taking care of your kids is something you have to do. Going to work is something that a lot of us have to do. And yes, I can definitely account for, you know, like for me, for example, work would take up four spoons and then sitting in uh, that commute would take up another three spoons. So that's already seven spoons out of my 15 that I've used. And that's not, you know, talking about me getting dressed, me making breakfast me commuting to work. I feel like commuting to work and commuting back home are two different levels of the spoon theory. <laughs> Just depletes my energy completely. Today I'm feeling pretty good, but now I am really tired. I, you know, let's say I have maybe six spoons left for the rest of the day. Now I can decide what I want to do for the rest of my night. And that could be recharging my spoons and just trying to relax, or I might feel a little more motivated to do something else, like make a video. I actually got this uh, this information from mollysfund.org, and then I just printed it out for myself and put it in this gastroparesis notebook that I've made for myself. It has tons of different information that I like to follow or just helps me stay informed about my gastroparesis. I used to do so much research and that's how I've compiled all of this. Anyways, have any of you used the spoon theory to explain your energy levels? You know, how many spoons do you have today? Do you start out with 15? Like, I'm just curious what other people experience with the spoon theory or if they have even use it. So if you ever hear, you know, the term spoonies, then you know you're talking about somebody with a chronic illness that knows the spoon theory and I don't know it's just a fun different way to explain that fatigue that we have which is not normal fatigue it's not it's not just being tired anyways I hope all of that made sense if you like this video please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time that I post and thanks so much for checking in with me, guys. I'll catch you in the next vlog. Bye.